Hello dear students, welcome back to Varsha Tutorials. Children, in the last two videos of Standard 7 Science, Lesson number 6, Measurement of Physical Quantities, we have learned scalar quantities, vector quantities, the difference between two. Also, we have learned what is mass, weight and the difference between two. Let's not forget the fundamental quantities and standardization of units. Also, we have learned how important is accurate measurement and importance of standard units. And if at all you have not watched these two videos based on lesson number 6, the link is given in the description below. And I hope you have completed the assignment given after each video. Children, assignment plays very important role in understanding how much you have learned. So do complete the assignment. Don't be lazy and always complete the assignment given at the end of the video. And children, today in this video, we are going to study two major causes of errors. So let us begin. Do you know what is errors? Errors means the measurements are not taken properly. That is, we can see mistakes in the measurement. Okay, the causes means why does this error happen? So, there are two reasons for the causes of measurement of errors. Let us see which are these two reasons. First reason is not using appropriate device. Children, device means the thing used for the measurement. For example, this is a measuring tape or the device used by the tailor to measure the length of the body parts. But instead of this measuring tape, if the tailor use another device like ruler, or this foot rule for measuring the length of the body parts. Will it, will he or she able to measure the length exactly? Of course not. So when I am using inappropriate, means not suitable devices, this is also one of the device for measuring the length and this measuring tape is also another device for measuring the length. But to measure the length of the body parts, which are usually curved, Taylor uses measuring tape. And measuring tape is an appropriate device used for measuring the body parts. But instead of this measuring tape, if the tailor uses this scale for measuring body parts, it becomes inappropriate or we can say not appropriate. Okay. So first point I think is very much clear that is when we use, we don't use appropriate device for the measurement of the any quantities we errors are supposed to happen. Errors will take, take place surely. Another example if I give you suppose in the grocery shop the grocer uses Instead of this way, this is also a device used to measure the mass of the uh, things measured. But instead of this weight, if the grocer uses stone, will she or he be able to measure the mass of any quantity correctly? Well, of course not. So we have to use appropriate device that is like this weights to measure the mass of any quantities even at grocer shop or vegetable vendor is that clear to you another example when i give you suppose i measure the volume of the milk with the help of this glass can i say exactly what is the volume of this milk is there are there any calibration on this glass of course not so when we use calibrated um, devices for measuring the volume we are measuring the appropriate device for measuring any volumes now i have taken milk but i it can be any liquid say petrol kerosene etc 
so it uh, petrol kerosene or milk cannot be used uh, measured by using glass we need to have appropriate device for measuring milk petrol um, kerosene etc any type of liquid that is any volume of liquid is measured by its appropriate device and not by just uncalibrated glass on Uncal calibrations means there are markings on the glass if there are markings on the glass then that will will be called as marking of the volume if there are markings of volume on the glass then that glass could be called as appropriate device but children can you see any markings on this glass of course not then will you call this as appropriate device for measuring the milk will you allow the milkman to measure the milk with the help of glass before delivering it to your house of course not because you know that glass is not the appropriate device okay so he has to measure the milk with the help of appropriate device before delivering to your house children now let's see second curse of error that is not using device properly let's take an example of this thermometer this is a thermometer which is having the bulb in which mercury is at the bottom at the bulb of the thermometer and when the when we measure the temperature we keep this end of the thermometer under the arm but instead of this end if we keep another end of the thermometer under our arm to measure the temperature of our body we are, are we going to get the correct temperature of our body of course not because we are supposed to keep this mercury end of the thermometer under the arm so when we are keeping this end of the thermometer under our arm we are not using the device properly and therefore this is another major cause of error in the measurement that is not using the device properly though we have the appropriate device that is thermometer is the appropriate device children but uh, as we are not using it properly we are likely to get errors so children today we have learned two major causes of errors that is not using the appropriate device and not using the device properly and if you have understood this topic thoroughly do hit the like button and also don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel till then see you this is miss varsha keep smiling keep learning